What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2004 Honda CRV, and I'm going to use this vehicle to show you how to troubleshoot the operation of the blower motor. So, if your blower motor is not coming on, one of the first things that you can try is just tapping on it. A lot of times the motor will get kind of stuck. And uh, to get to it, you just pull this piece down. There's three clips there. And this in the back, it will uh, be retained by these two rubber things that just slide into some slots. So that whole piece will just slide out. The blower motor is right here. And uh, sometimes you can just give it a good tap and it will come on. This one, as you can hear, is working. I've actually just replaced it. So if you tap on it and it's not kicking on, you'll want to disconnect the uh, connector there and you wanna find out if it's receiving both a power and a ground. Both a power and a ground is necessary for the blower motor to work. And what I'm using to check that out is a light bulb. So I've got the two leads there and I can just push the light bulb in. And if it's receiving both the power and the ground, you will see it uh, illuminating like so. Not making the best connection here, but you get the point. And what's interesting about the light bulb test is if you change the speed of the blower, so if I dial it up and down like here, you'll actually see the light bulb get brighter and dimmer as it's varying the amount of ground that it's getting. So I'm leaving it on full blast here. So let's say you uh, throw a bulb in there and it's not illuminating. You need to find out if it's not lighting up because it's not receiving a power or if it's not receiving the ground. So uh, what I'm gonna do to check for power is I'm using a test light and I'm hooked into a ground right there. That's probably not the best ground to use, but it'll work for our purposes. And the one that's supposed to provide the power to the blower motor is the blue white. So throw the test light in the blue white right there and you can see it lighting up. So without a doubt, it's receiving power. Now, if you're not receiving power there, there's a few things for you to check. So <clears throat> let's head under the hood. I'll point out to you the blower motor specific fuse and relay. So you're gonna open this cover up by squeezing these two things pulled together and pulling it up. Now the blower motor relay is this one right here. So this is dedicated for the blower motor only. And you should actually, if you have the key on, you should hear it click when you remove it. And there's a 40 amp JK fuse right here. And this is again, dedicated for the blower motor. So this is it right there. So check those two things. You can swap this with the 40 amp fuse right next to it as a troubleshooting step. Now, a word about this relay, you can bypass this. If you take a paper clip and you bridge these two pins together, you will be sending constant power to the blower motor at all times. Now, this doesn't mean that the blower motor will be on all the time. Uh, the way this car is designed, the blower motor receives power whenever the key is in the on position. But the blower motor only comes on when you turn it on. Uh, it actually provides a ground to get things going. So if I hook these two together, it's going to be sending constant power uh, to the blower motor. Now these two smaller leads, that's how the relay is triggered. And you should test those as well. Those should be, this, this should illuminate whenever the key is in the on position. And there's another fuse that is under the hood. <clears throat> I'll point that out to you as well. Now without this fuse, you actually won't see anything light up on the, uh, the HVAC controls there. So this fuse, to get to it, you just turn both of these uh, clockwise and this will actually it'll pop down like so. And the 10 amp fuse for you to check is gonna be this one right here. So this actually provides power to all of the different relays for the uh, HVAC. So be sure to check that. So that just about covers it for the power side of the equation. Well, what about troubleshooting if you don't have a ground? So let's talk about that for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and head over. 
back to where the blower motor is. So the power side is pretty simple. It always receives power whenever the key is in the on position. Now, <clears throat> the way the ground side works, the ground, the amount of ground is varied depending on uh, what speed you've got the blower motor set to. And it accomplishes this by what's called a power transistor. So instead of a blower motor resistor, you've got a power transistor. And that's right here. So this is actually controlled by the, um, the module there. So I'm gonna disconnect it here. You can see there's four pins and two of the wires are big, right? Two of the wires are small. The small wires, they come from the actual control unit here. And to really, to do any testing on those, you're going to need a lab scope, which I don't have. But you can bypass this, again, with a paper clip. If you bridge these two pins together of the large wire, then it will be sending constant ground to the blower motor, which means the blower motor will be on whenever the key is in the on position. And I don't have a paper clip on me, but I've got this light and I will bridge these two. So you can see the light is illuminating and the blower motor is running very slowly. So this is just another way that you can test the circuit. So if you bridge these two together and the blower motor kicks on, uh, it might be worth just go ahead and changing this out as a troubleshooting step, especially if you don't have a lab scope to test out the, uh, the input from the um, HVAC. So yeah, uh, that just about covers it. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice about troubleshooting the blower motor on your Honda CRV. And uh, thanks for watching.